Renesis fleet is a collection of vehicles that allow us to showcase key technology areas in different segments. So this would be ADAS and connected cockpit as two. The truck represents the connected cockpit portion and we use it to create a development platform that we can expose to customers uh, for development of three major areas. And these would be virtualization, a customizable user interface, and uh, connectivity. So Renesis is aiming to be the automotive silicon supplier. We have deep automotive understanding and we have a deep automotive skill set in our engineers and our marketing professionals. And so we decided to do real vehicle integrations because we want to show how our silicon can be placed into real world situations and how these challenges can be solved. The selection of the truck was to complete our lineup of sedan and small SUV and also to make sure we target the big three North American OEMs. So it's critical for Renesis to find automotive ready partners to help us develop this technology. And we have identified Green Hills and Altia as two partners that were key for the Renesis connected cockpit vehicle. Green Hills provides a world-class virtualized operating system called Integrity. And Altia provides the HMI for both the center stack and the cluster. Virtualization is the concept of running two or more operating systems on a single piece of Renesis RCAR SOC. And we chose to run Green Hills Integrity and Android as our two operating systems because they both represent kind of a best in class OS. So on one hand, you have Green Hills Integrity, which is considered a production ready, safe and secure operating system. And on the other hand, you have Android, which is kind of a uh, best-in-class user experience operating system with many features that people know and are familiar with. Multivisor is the virtualization service that executes and runs the, the guest operating system like Android in a safe, secure way, separate and independent and away from the critical functions of the vehicle. So the digital cluster, the, the Prindle, the vehicle bus. We chose to run two safety critical functions on Green Hills Integrity. The first is the instrument cluster and the second is the transmission or the gear selector. On the other hand, Android runs many of the user friendly and user focused applications such as navigation, multimedia, things like that. The Integrity real-time operating system, which is the basis of the Integrity multivisor, was designed from the very beginning to address the most challenging safety and security issues of embedded systems. Before a line of code was written, the, the architects looked at all the different ways that people have designed or how you need to design a system to the highest levels of safety and security. Both Green Hills and Altia have a desire to see their products challenged through a real world integration into an actual vehicle such as the Renesis connected cockpit vehicle. And we've kind of offered them that, that solution. And so in doing this integration, we're both gaining quite a bit from this activity. Renesis is gaining a deeper engagement with a world-class set of partners, and Green Hills and Altia are gaining a deeper understanding of how their product is actually integrated into vehicles. I think the most obvious benefit for customers is that we got a chance to vet out the entire solution from Green Hills to Renesis to Altia, get all those players together, and figure out any of the issues that might have, have come up at post-release and get them figured out at the time of release. So once we had software and hardware on the market, the customers could have a lot of confidence that that's gonna work because we put together a system that has almost all of the key pieces that our customers are gonna care about. We have a system that's running Android and Integrity. We have a system that has uh, multiple screens. We're driving the IVI as well as the cluster. And we've got shared data between the two. So we've proved out a lot of the things that customers are gonna to wanna to see. So there are three major connectivity features in the Renesis Connected Cockpit Vehicle. The first is the traditional CAN network, which we use, we participate on that network for the control of HVAC and other vehicle functions. The second feature is the local Wi-Fi network that we use for multimedia sharing, um, both for the bring your own device in the back seat and for the uh, center panel screen. The third feature is a cloud uplink, and we've worked with our partner EPAM to create a a secure and robust cloud uplink for sharing uh, facial recognition models and user preference data in this instance of the demo. 
The facial recognition feature showcases the cloud uplink that the truck has, and it's, it's a representative example of a real-world cloud application. This would allow a user to register for use of the vehicle, whether it be a public vehicle such as a taxi or a, a rental car or a private vehicle, and have their personal preferences applied automatically as they sit in the vehicle. And this is just an extension of a, of a user experience. The third pillar is user experience. One of the key features that we have focused on with our user experience integration is that of display sharing, which is the concept of running two virtualized operating systems and allowing them to display content on both of the connected displays. We have applications that run on the center stack with a small view in the middle of the instrument cluster to ensure that drivers keep their eyes more focused on the road for a safer driving experience. A key feature that we've added to the Renesis Connected Cockpit Vehicle is eMirror, where we have added cameras to the right, left, and rear view mirror, and we bring those camera feeds in and show them on a display routed through the Renesis Arcar SOC. The truck also contains a multimedia server from Cinemo that runs on the Renesis Arcar SOC and allows media sharing across all of the displays in the vehicle. This would include the uh, center stack, the bring your own device tablets in the back seat, as well as in certain modes, the instrument cluster. Media can be shared from any device in the vehicle and served to any other display in the vehicle, including a unique feature for display cloning. The next steps for the Renesis Connected Cockpit Vehicle include enhanced cloud connectivity with more production partners showing a broader range of cloud connected applications. Green Hills and Renaissance bring over 20 years of proven production automotive solutions to the program and build on top of that in solving the next generation of problems around ECU consolidation. Mixed criticality consolidation in a single ECU on a high performance automotive grade SOC. So Altia and Renesis are a proven automotive solution and we created this connected cockpit vehicle that shows multiple operating systems working together, uh, driving multiple screens for an infotainment and cluster, and sharing data between those screens. And throughout this process, I think this helped us finally hone the H3 target, um, working out uh, all the communication mechanisms, working out exactly how a system can work, and providing our customers with a strong example running in the truck of just how this target can work. The Connected Cockpit demo shows our customers that we have a deep understanding of automotive integration, automotive applications, and the stresses and challenges of automotive development, which makes Renesis the best partner for your automotive needs.